Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and the latest iOS 5.1.1 firmware. Now what we're going to be using today is Absinthe, and this is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Now before we begin, there's a couple things I do want to go over. For starters, this does support most, but not all devices on iOS 5.1.1. What this does support is the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, the iPad 1, iPad 2, iPad 3, as well as the Apple TV 2nd generation. The only device on iOS 5.1.1 that this does not support is going to be the Apple TV 3rd generation. On top of that, this is a fully untethered jailbreak, which if you guys don't know the difference, basically this is the correct kind of jailbreak. This is the one that you want, as it doesn't require you to have to re-jailbreak anytime you need to reboot or anything like that. Everything works just as you would expect. Before we begin, there are a couple of things we need to do to get ready. So for starters, go ahead and grab your device, so in this case I'm using an iPad 3, and go ahead and plug it in via USB to your Mac or your PC. Now come over to your Mac or PC, open up iTunes, and then come over to Devices. Uh, now here we need to actually make a backup. Now this is optional, but I do really recommend it, as it could take several hours if you do not do this, as Absinthe will have to jailbreak and do all this kind of backing up by itself. But if we go ahead and just back up the data and wipe our iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, it will make it much, much quicker. So what you need to do is just right click on your device and click on backup. Uh, now if you have an iCloud backup, it doesn't really matter. The best way to do it is via iTunes. Now if you have a lot of stuff, it will take a long time. I'm using a fresh restore right now, so it didn't really take all that long. But just be sure that it backs up all of your data to iTunes. Once you're done backing up, come over to your device and open up settings. Come over to general and scroll all the way down to reset. What we're going to do is delete all the data on our device, and that, of course, will make Absinthe much, much quicker. Again, this is optional, but since we just backed it all up, it's not a big deal. So go ahead and click on Erase All Content and Settings, click Erase, and click Erase one more time. Now, at this point, your device is going to need to reboot and all that kind of stuff, so I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Once your device is done rebooting, you need to come over to your computer, and then it will ask you to either set up or restore. Uh, you can do either of these. I recommend going ahead, ahead and setting up as a new iPad, as of course, there's no reason to move all of your data right back over since we just cleared it out. So go ahead and click on set up as a new iPad. Uh, you can go ahead and just give it a name, so we'll just say null, because it doesn't really matter too much right now. And then make sure that you're not automatically syncing anything. So once your device is fully set up, we can come back over to our computer and open up Absinthe. Uh, so Absinthe is super easy. All you need to do is, of course, with your device still plugged in via USB, you would see it says it's detected. So in my case, iPad 3 Wi-Fi with iOS 5.1.1 detected. Uh, so once you see that, go ahead and click Jailbreak. Now at this point, it will take quite a while, so just be patient and I'll be back as soon as it's done. Once Absinthe is done, go ahead and open up your device and then scroll over to your last page. You should now see City installed. However, we're not quite done yet. Now what we need to do is restore from our backup in iTunes. So to do this, all we need to do is come over to iTunes and again, just right click on your device and restore from backup. Now this is gonna be super easy. Now instead of doing the null or whatever name that we created, what we need to do is come up to our most recent one, which would have been right about here, I believe, and then go ahead and click on restore. And in this case, just hit news uh, older backup because, of course, we do the newer one, it's not going to actually work. So at this point, just give it some time to restore, and we'll be right back as soon as it's done. All right, so once you open up City, you are officially fully jailbroken. Congratulations. Now, at this point, all you need to do is go download all the cool themes and tweaks and mods that you would like. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.